This video is all about how to install a tracking pixel on EverWebinar and Webinar Jam. So here's the steps we're going to follow and, and uh, I'll review them quickly and then I'll, I'll go through them on video. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is open the URLs and pixels Google Sheet. Then we're going to log into EverWebinar or Webinar Jam using a password that's been saved uh, from LastPass. Then we're going to choose EverWebinar or Webinar Jam and make sure that we're in the right tool. Uh, then we'll choose the correct webinar. Uh, click the edit button, select the integrations, and set up what's called third-party tracking. And uh, these are the directions for how to do it on Facebook. These are the directions for how to do it on Google. So let's do it. So, um, so we've got to open the URLs and Pixels Google Sheet. So for this one, I just chose a, um, a random example. Um, every client will have a, uh, a spreadsheet set up um, called uh, URLs and Pixels uh, uh, sheet. So um, the next thing we're going to do is go to Webinar Jam. You're going to log in using the uh, uh, the the password sent over from uh, LastPass. So just select the right information. And then from here you can choose whether you're in Webinar Jam or Ever Webinar, uh, and you can choose whichever one. Um, the process is identical for both and the interface looks identical for both. The way that you can tell is by going up here, you can see this one's fully white and this one's grayed out. And then when you switch, there's a little triangle below it and uh, this one is fully, uh, fully white and grayed out. <clears throat> um, uh, so from here, Regardless of whether you're using Webinar Jam or EverWebinar, you select My Webinars. Then, you locate the correct webinar. In this case, there's only one, so that step's really easy. Then you go over here to the pencil. When you hover over the pencil, it will say Edit. Press that. Go over here to Step 5, Integrations. And then you're going to go down here and open up what's called uh, the Integrate a Third-Party Tracking System. So from there you hit the little pencil, hover over the pencil, it says edit configuration. And then from here, all you do is very simple. Um, if you're using Facebook or installing a Facebook pixel, you follow these four steps where you paste the base Facebook pixel code from the URLs and pixels Google Sheet onto every step. Then you uh, add the event pixels based on the corresponding page. And then you check the pixel is firing correctly and then you update the URLs and pixels Google Sheet um, accordingly. So let's do that. So um, you go over here to the Facebook campaigns and pixel sheet. Go over here till you find a tab that says Facebook base pixel. Uh, double click it. It's command A to hover over uh, to highlight the whole thing. Copy. Then you go over here to your ever webinar. And all you're going to do is paste this on every single every single step. And then once you've uh, pasted the base pixel code on every single step, then you go back to the correct uh, tab that we're actually doing. In this case, it's called uh, CBB CBL webinar. And you can see that every single page is labeled here and also has a pixel to be installed, which is this column. So then all you do is you just, you just follow along. So these are the webinar registration page. You copy that code. Go over here to the registration page tracking. Make sure that when you paste the code, uh, there are no parentheses around anything. Um, and then uh, from there, you do, uh, in this case, this is a little bit different because this is a split test. Normally, there will just be one registration page. If there's ever more than one, I'll give instruction on, on what to do. Um, for the webinar thank you page, you copy that. Go over here to where it says post registration thank you page, 
and you paste it. Again, remember to remove the parentheses if they show up. Uh, you go to over here. The next one is uh, sometimes there's waiting room. In this case, not applicable. Um, you go to the live room. And you paste, press enter two times. Paste the uh, Facebook uh, event code below the base pixel code. And you just go like that step to step to step. And then you click confirm to save. And then all you need to do from there is uh, go back over to the Facebook Pixel um, campaign and then test uh, just by clicking the URL. And um, in this case, I'll just show you a slightly different way, but it'll show you the uh, whatever you added in this column should match with the following. So you should have already installed the Facebook Pixel helper. Um, Should have installed the Facebook Pixel Helper, and what you'll see is it turns from green to blue, and it'll tell you what the pixels are. So, webinar registration page A, CBB main funnel view content. You can see that on this page with this URL, it matches view content. Webinar registration page A, CBB main funnel. So it's matching and it's working. Then all you have to do is under the column that says pixel checked, you say yes, and so you put your initials rather, and the date. Um, and then this would be the same thing. So installed by me on this date, checked by me on this date. Uh, now, if you're doing Google, the process of, that we just went through is exactly the same. There's just a couple things that need to be different. Um, so again, you, you choose the webinar, you click edit. You uh, select the integrations tab. Integrate a third-party tracking system. You scroll below all the Facebook stuff, press enter a few times. Then you're going to come over here uh, back to the URLs and pixel sheet. You're going to go to tracking pixels, find the global site tag, copy that, command C, paste it into every single um, page that you've got. And then uh, the next thing that you're going to do is go back to the campaign pixel sheet, go to the, um, the corresponding thing, go to the column that says uh, Google conversion to be installed. Um, and you'll see uh, the, the event snippet for that. Then all you do is copy that. This one, for example, is on the thank you page. So you just go to the corresponding page on the thank you page. Make sure again that there's no uh, parentheses around it. And then um, all you do is hit confirm to save those changes. And then you're going to want to just check the URLs. And uh, from from there, you just so you're going to choose the URL normally from the uh, campaign and URL spreadsheet. But this one, I'm just going to open up real quick. And then this is the uh, Google Tag Assistant. Click Enable, then Refresh. You can see the number over here 
Google Ads Conversion Tracking 107-197-9697. And you can see that that corresponds with 107-197-9697. So that's all you have to do. Uh, in order to add a tracking pixel to EverWebinar or Webinar Jam.